Hello everyone, Romano is here and this time I want to talk about hypothesis in language learning. So as we know, the second language learners have their own purpose to mastery the target language. They should have an access to the native speaker directly. However, for the second language learners who do not have an access to the native speaker, probably their progress to acquire the target language will go slower than the learners who have an access to the native speaker. Because the native speaker is a factor which provides an example of speaking skill. But not only native speaker, there are some factors that determine the progress to acquire the target language. So according to Krashen, a specialist in language development, there are some factors that determine the progress to acquire the target language. So, what are these components? Let's check it out. The first hypothesis is the acquisition learning hypothesis. It fuses two independent systems, acquire system and learn system. Acquire system concerns to the process of when people learn their first language by speaking the language naturally in daily life. The focus of acquire system is the meaning of communicating. Learn system concerns to the formal instruction to acquire knowledge about the target language. The focus of learn system is the structure of the language. The second hypothesis is the monitor hypothesis. The role of the monitor hypothesis is like a checker or a corrector. Based on the acquired system and learned system, the monitor hypothesis focuses to the learned system which work as the corrector of the second language learners. It means before the learner makes an utterance, he or she internally scans it for error and uses the learn system to make corrections. The learn system is used to check what is being spoken. Next, we have the natural order hypothesis. The natural order hypothesis is when the second language learners acquire the grammatical structures earlier. Because the grammatical structure of the target language is the same as the grammatical structure of the learner's first language. What do they do? is predict the structure of each word based on the grammatical structure of their first language. Another hypothesis is the input hypothesis. The input hypothesis applies only to language acquisition and not to language learning. We can say that the input hypothesis is the next step of the natural order hypothesis because this thesis posits the process that allows second language learners to move through the predictable sequences of the acquisition of grammatical structures which predicted by the natural order hypothesis. The last hypothesis is the effective filter hypothesis. The effective filter hypothesis concerns to the external factor of the learners like motivation, self-confidence, and anxiety. Affective variables such as fear, nervousness, boredom, and resistance to change can affect the acquisition of the target language. Because of that, students who are motivated, confident, and relaxed about learning the target language have much more success acquiring a second language. So that's all from me about hypothesis in language learning. Thank you for watching and see you next illusion.